Let's start with inserting a row before A. So select A, go up here to insert, and you're going to type 1, enter, 2, enter. You can continue to type those numbers or you can go back up here and select 1 and 2. You're telling the computer how to count. Hover your mouse in the lower right hand corner, drag down. Then you're going to change the font type to um, Arial. So click here between A and 1. Go up here and choose Arial. Then you are going to merge and center A1 through C1. So you can click anywhere to deselect your select all. Start in the middle of A1, click and drag to C1. Go up here and click Merge and Center, Bold, make it too bigger. It's going to go a little into D, that's okay. We're going to be expanding B here in a minute. Next we're going to select A3 through C12 and change our font size. We're going to decrease it 1 to 11 or you can just go here and change it. Select Column B by hovering your mouse over letter B and clicking it. Go to Format, Column Width, and type 30. Press Enter. Notice it's still cutting off um, some of these, so what we're going to do is wrap our text. All right, we're gonna click here, double click before A and the star is born and do Alt or Option, Enter. And that will just automatically put um, that A down on that next line. That's kind of like pressing Enter in Word and it keeps it in the same cell. Go ahead and select your column headings, A2 through C2. Choose Bold, Center, Change the font color to, or the fill color to black and the font color to white. All right. We might need to make A a little bit bigger, so I just went ahead and double clicked between A and B. For total units, we're going to make this look like a comma style, so we don't want number we don't want it to have a dollar sign but we do want it to show the call the commas then decrease your decimal twice select a1 through c12 choose all borders Thick, out, thick box border. I'm going to click on my shape here, move it below my table, my data table there, and go to shape format. I'm going to choose this black and white one to have it go along with it. Then double click your or triple click your text and decrease your text so that it's on one line, center it, move it up. You know what we should do? right there below our table. We are going to add a column between one and two. So remember it always goes above. So select row two in your home ribbon, choose insert, select A2 through C2, click 
Merge and Center. Now the font and everything is going to be repeated from the one above. So we're going to make this uh, font size 11, italics, and unbold. Then we're just going to type what is um, after the comma there. Um, so what that means is they took like um, this isn't just album sales. It took like um, you know any music purchased, just like songs purchased in iTunes or anything like that. Um, they counted that as well. So uh, album sales, the rank would is different. Um, I cut that off with that black box, but um, so we just went with total units to keep the rank consistent there. All right. Now you are done with this part, with part one.